Good morning, children. Let us start a new chapter in computers that is keyboard. You are able to see what on your screen? Yes, you are able to see a keyboard right on your screen. Why do we require a keyboard, children? We require a keyboard just like our pen and pencil. Whenever we want to write something on our notebook pages, what do we need? Pen and pencil for sure to write on it. Correct. But can you use a pen and pencil on the computer to write it? No, right? For that, we need some input device. What do you mean by input device? Those part of the computer which help us to put information or tell the command to the computer. Yes, so those devices are called input devices. What are the input devices, common input devices of a computer? Yes, it is our keyboard and our mouse. Yes, so this particular thing which you're able to see on your screen is a keyboard. Let us see this keyboard carefully, children. You can see that the alphabets of the English language that is A to Z are placed on the center of our keyboard, right? Let us see, read this one. Q, W, E, R, T, Y, U, I, O, P in the top line. In the center middle line, A, S, D, F, G, H, I, K, L and your Z, X, C, V, B, N, M. Right? So you can see so many different alphabet keys available on the keyboard. Apart from that, we can see number keys also. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. Using these number keys, we can make any number whichever we want to. Correct? Then we have some other keys also. Escape key. Tab, caps lock, shift, function key, control key, windows key, alt key, right? Arrow mark, up and down, right and left, shift, delete, right? Home, page up, page down, navigation, end, insert, print screen, many options, all this. And this is not a standard keyboard which you're able to see on your screen, children. It is a virtual keyboard which I have switched it on. But a standard keyboard, I'll just show you this one. Yes, this is a 40 keyboard. Now let us see this one closely. You can see the number on the top of our alphabet keys, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. At the right hand side also, you can see children. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And some keys. So what do we, uh, what all key, keys do we have on our keyboard? We have alphabet keys, then we have the number keys, and we have some special keys. Escape, F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7, F8, F9, F12. Each keys have, these F keys are nothing but the function keys, right? These are also considered into special keys, okay? So we have tab, caps lock, shift, control, alt, yes? We have two alt keys. We have two windows keys. We have two control keys. Correct, we have two shift keys. Then we have a number lock keys, cap lock, caps lock key, insert key, delete, end, page up, page down, home key, scroll lock, pause, break, print screen, insert, and many more. And these are the four arrows to go up and down and left and right. All right, children. So this is a standard keyboard. What you're able to see on your screen is a standard keyboard. Yes, and this keyboard has 104 keys. How many keyboard keys are available on a standard keyboard? 104. Now, children, looking at these keys, 
there must be lots of question in your mind. First question should be, when we have alphabet keys arranged on our keyboard, why aren't they in a sequence? Like why is it not A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I and coming till Z, but it is all randomly placed by Q, W, E, R, T. The reason for these things to be kept in this way is to give it an easy access of typing. See, there are some letters in the alphabet which are frequently used and there are some letters in our alphabets which we don't use in frequently in framing a sentence. Do we use Q regularly? Just observe any of the state sentences in your textbook. How about Z, right? But A, S, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, right? T, W. So when you are placing your fingers to type on your keyboard, the frequently used keys should be easily accessible. And the trick and the excellence of keyboard typing is when you're typing, without seeing your keyboard keys. You should have an expertise in typing the keys on the keyboard without looking at the keyboard. For that reason, these keys are placed randomly around your keyboards. All right. Now, another thing, you might be wondering, like when alphabet keys are placed on your keyboard, it is only once. But when it comes to number keys, your number keys are placed at the two places in your keyboard. One is at the top of the alphabets and at the right hand side, correct? You're on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the top, yes? And here in the right hand side, correct? Now, why is it so? You have to have a small observation children. One thing is like on the top title, let me show you here. Can you see here one? Can you see, is it only one available on this keyboard key? No, it's one plus an special symbol. Second one, two plus another special symbol. Three plus another special symbol. Here it is an exclamatory mark. Here it is add rate. Here it is hashtag, correct? Here's a dollar symbol, percentage, upper arrow key and ampersand, then star, right? So these keys have two things available on that. One is the number, another one is a special symbol, which you need to use, which you would be requiring to use in your typing here and there. So the keys on the top are of multi usage. All right. And here also you can see some keys like eight, six, two, four, they're having arrow keys also with them. All right. So it helps us to have an easy access and multi usage of the keys. This is the way your number keys are placed on the top and at the right hand side. Apart from that, each of your function keys F1, F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, F7 are related to one or the other functions which you would be requiring to use whenever you are typing. So this was a small introduction of your keyboard. The further details with the, all the special keys, I'll be bringing you with your next video. Until then, bye-bye.